What is happening, guys? So we just arrived in Subhale City, and uh, we had quite the interesting rival battle as we entered. And we did end up killing our boy Ballin, which is unfortunate because he never even got to be used. But it was uh, it was pretty helpful being able to sack that thing off. Anyway, before we do anything, I think we need to go deposit that boy because I'm totally gonna forget. So we'll head to the Poke Center here and. Uh, let us bury our dead friend. For some reason, I find a way to kill all of the shiny Pokemon I get, which is quite unfortunate, but, you know, it happens. So, we are going to stick you in the death box, my shiny friend, and um, put you right next to Donna. Sparkly dead boys. All right. Now we get to grab somebody new. Um, I guess we'll probably just get something that's, like, high-level that will kind of be useful. We also have, we have Rudy, who... Um, <laughs> Is also a shiny, but we'll probably just kill that thing if I get it. But I think we don't have anything very high leveled. I mean, in box two, our highest is around 42. So, I don't really know what I want to bring, honestly. I kind of, ooh, we have a level 45 with the young scrimp. Let's actually take this thing with us. Why not? The ice dragon. Uh, we'll bring old scrimper with us. I don't know if I'm going to end up using it. It's actually about the same level as Groot. But we're going to leave the EXP share on our friend Groot there. So... Let us kind of do a little bit of exploring around the city. I know that there is a gym here, so that's pretty nice. Got a little, uh, little rock appears to be breakable. Okay, that is in fact a white ass rock. Did it not do anything? Hello? What the hell happened? What happened there? It just, it's got like a face on it. Was this a snowman that I just killed? Okay, well, what's happening here? Have you ever been to the Subhill Gym? It's indoor ski hall. Alice is well known for her skiing skills. Why would there be an indoor skiing place it's in the mountains where it's snowing? That seems counterproductive. I try to figure out uh, what's the best strategy against Alice. I should use my giraffe fire and my bulker. Yep, so definitely an ice type gym. When I grow up, I want to be an ice type gym leader, just like Alice. It's always so cold in Subhill City, I have to make warm food for my kids every day. Well, that sounds. Ooh, we found a full restore in the trash can. Gotta love those trash can finds. It's not often, but we do get stuff occasionally. Um, I think we'll probably be okay for the Ice Gym, considering we do have Troll who has a hard-hitting Brick Break. We also have um, our freaking Fiery Boy. He's often seen at Subhill Ice Caps of the Sun. Good fishing. Uh, he's talking about Finley. Sorry, I was totally not reading what this guy was saying, but uh, cool. Watching the fishing contest in Waytide City every day. So yeah, like I said, Ranja and Troll should really hold it down for us on the gym. Subhill City is known for its fishermen. Uh, that's the reason why we build this fisherman clubhouse. Uh, some ice fishing, huh? Well, that's that's pretty cool, I guess. So we can head off to the right, and oh, something actually happens. What's happening, buddy? What should I do? I was fishing with my son on the ice caps, and some wild no seal and ice seal, <laughs> seal ice seal attacked us. I managed to get away, but my son is trapped by the Pokemon. Can you please help me rescue my son? You will. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're just uh, you know always helping people out. At the very end of the ice caps, I'll show you the way. By the way, my name is Finley. Uh, okay, so we can help out that dude's kid. Which we should probably do before the gym. Um, but first, let's actually just kind of see what else is going on in the city. I like to share my knowledge with young trainers. They train ice types. Hey, I do actually have an ice type. So we're going to get a nice little icicle plate, which just raises the power of ice moves. Don't really need that very much. It, this is the first time we've come across those people that actually we end up having the type they're talking about, so that's kind of cool. So, my Subaru is a dual type ice and fighting Pokemon. That's an awesome type combination. That is not the best type combination, but it is really cool. Should use a fighting type against Alice. They have an advantage against ice type Pokemon. This could be helpful. And we get ourselves TM67 for reversal. So, uh, that's pretty nice. Thank you, Karate Man. I'd rather catch my sister than a cold outside. <laughs> We love to play, but it's so cold outside, we have to do it indoor. That's a damn bummer. Fucking frigid out here. Alright, so this house does not have a door, they don't like visitors, and ooh, this gym be looking crazy. I'm really sorry, but Alice the sub gym leader is out for a training session with her Pokemon. I know, I know, every gym leader in this region is not in the gym when you want to battle. Uh, but has you thought about the boredom, staying, in, staying the whole day in your gym and waiting for a challenger? They need to really update the um, the dialogue in this game. It seems like everybody says some wrong shit. Give it a try and see if you can make it work. Sure, you may be able to master it. Here it is. We obtained a ring target. What the hell is a ring target? If a Pokemon holds a ring target, it can be hit even by a move that would usually have no effect. For example, a normal type move 
would hit a ghost type Pokemon. Mastering this item is a bit tough. Actually, it's very tough. Uh, but think of how useful it could be. Mm, that's kind of interesting. I love snowboarding on Route 18. When I reach the bottom of the mountain, I use my Blizz Hoot to go back to Snow Peak Village and start again. I haven't. Uh, that would that would be the life, man. I don't think I've seen a Blizz Hoot though. Young Ice Owl. A Pokemon is unable to use a mo uh, unable to move when it uses, when it gets frozen, but it's harder to freeze a Pokemon than poison or burn one. Yep, frozen is uh, quite a dumb. Uh, freaking status condition. Best part of a Pokemon battle is the choice of many different options. There's so many to try out. You can try to end a battle as fast as you can with a powerful move, but there's also the opportunity to take down you opponent with status conditions or along. Nice. Take down you opponents, huh? Found out about a program called, RP called RPG Maker XP, which allows you to create your own Pokemon game. How cool is that? That was actually the program that was used to create this game, which is kind of funny. But alright, it looks like we've kind of explored what there is to offer in this place so oh wait we haven't gone down this way have we damn it one more house then we're gonna head over and uh, go help that kid I guess my man can teach powerful moves to certain Pokemon you should give it a try well wow, what do you got for me I see your quest of power have brought has brought you here with your Pokemon not bad at all let me reward your passion with absolutely powerful moves ultimate moves huh shall I teach them to your Pokemon sure we get frenzy plant blast burn or hydro cannon I'm not gonna do either of any of them um, because those actually take a recharge turn, and that doesn't seem like something I'm interested in. Frenzy Plant, Blast Burn, and Hydro Cannon, such powerful moves. The disadvantage the user needs to recharge. Yep. That is exactly what I was saying. I mean, it's generally going to be a one-hit KO on most things, but uh, we're just going to go ahead and pass on that. So let's head this way. Wait, this thing is looking pretty crazy. Living in Subhell is awesome. You learn how to ski right after you learn to walk. Well, that's pretty cool. Did I even... Did I even go in all the houses? I, I guess I, I don't know. We're going to freaking head to the right because I need to see what's happening over here. Ooh, there's also the Subhail Ice Caps. So where are, are we on the on the map here even? So we're about, we're about as far right as we can go. And uh, can I surf? Can I like surf on this? No, that is a, that is a cold looking pond. There is a Pokeball over here though, but I can't, I can't get to it. What the fuck? Do I need some type of ice skates to get over there? Hurry, this is the way. Okay, so this guy is actually leading us to where we need to go but we have a hiker here ah let's have a battle what are you doing standing out here in the cold buddy Benjin what kind of name is Benjin also you have an eagle so only level 46 we're just gonna get troll as many levels as we can before the gym leader as we saw with that rival battle last episode it seems like we're high we're like too high leveled for a lot of like the NPCs but then once we get to actual important battles it, it's really fucking scary so rock slide why do these things get rock slide? What, what is this? You're not a rock. One more brick break is gonna do the trick. Absolutely destroy your eagle. Imagine karate chopping a block of ice. That would hurt. Next is a carbonitro. We have not seen a carbonitro yet. I'm assuming it's an ice type. Ooh, ooh! It's the evolved form of uh, that freaking one thing we got. That is interesting. Well. Uh, it's level 50, so a little bit scary. It's gonna go for a screech. This thing looks absolutely pissed off. I feel like I've actually seen pictures of like a frog or a toad that looks angry, just like this guy. Looks like he's gonna breathe some fire on me. I wonder if this thing actually turns into fire type, because the Pokedex did mention something about like fire and ice, but it was actually just pure ice type, which was interesting. So maybe when it evolves, it gets fire type? I have no idea. Anyway, Troll gets knocked down to half from the damn hail. Ouch. And another Iglo. So we are actually going to switch here because, uh... We don't want to risk anything. Iglos probably have Sturdy. It, it doesn't have um, an alternate ability, but a lot of the time they just have Sturdy. You can hit me with something crazy and then the hail just do some nonsense. So we're just going to not, not risk it. We're going to switch into Ranja. And these things must have really good special defense to be able to take a Flamethrower from Ranja. And we actually dodge a bullet there. Able to miss that, uh... That there rock slide. The burn, unfortunately, does not quite do it. We're going to finish you with a shadow ball. And uh, we should actually probably put Ranja in front. Because Troll is now higher level. That's crazy. I remember when he was just a wee lad. All right. Let's stick uh, Let's stick you in front, Ranja. We're pretty much just going to flamethrower everything because that's what we do. And um, so we can go down this way. But, ooh, ooh, there is actually wild Pokemon here. So our first encounter on this route <laughs> is a no seal. What in the hell is this thing? I honestly want to just kill it. That is the ugliest damn thing ever. You know what? We're just going to Shadow Ball you. If you somehow live it, we'll catch you. But, that, yeah, it's going to kill you. 
I don't really want to win on what <laughs> no seal no seal I don't know man that thing is weird as hell there's also a pokeball there but we can't get to it and it seems why, why can't I get anywhere here do I need a damn snowmobile to get up on the snow I'm confused um, oh we can't actually just surf on this uh, we just had to go to like the weird little little area to be able to do it though but how the hell do I hello how do I get over to that Ooh, we got ourselves a gnaw whale that would have been pretty damn cool I would have caught you you have a fucking sword on your nose so that's kind of cool maybe no seal evolves into that um, yeah, we can't get to this this pokeball I can't hop up on up onto this I am confusion hmm. well uh what the oh we can just we can just hop like that okay well that's kind of cool Found ourselves a Nawalite. So, damn, Nawal actually mega evolves. My second encounter would have been fantastic to catch, but that uh, it didn't work out for us, so that fucking sucks. Man, I could have had a mega, guys. Why am I like this? Come on, come on. All right, so we're getting close, apparently. We're probably gonna go ahead and grab that item while we're over, while we're over here. Ooh, this thing's kinda cool, a coal cub. There is a ton of ice types in this game. It is just chock full. Of them ice types out here. And a another carbonix. So you're nothing new, buddy. But we are gonna take this. Boom, 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 and it's an ice gem. So yet another item that just raises the power of ice moves. How many of those do I need? Seriously. And then we got a max potion over here. So there's items all over the place around here. But we should probably stick to the task of saving that kid, because he's definitely getting frostbite as we speak. There's also a wild piglet, which is uh, our pre-evolution of our, boy, our buddy Happy. It's interesting to see these things not as the shiny, or yeah, it's just the regular colors, because shiny he was like brown. Which is weird, because you would kind of think it would be switched. But I do like the way that uh, the evolved Happy looks, so that's fine. So many damn wild Pokemon. Ooh, and there's a there's a Subaru. I am actually interested to see kind of everything that we're able to find here, though. So, I guess it's probably worth encountering everybody. So we can surf there, but there is another trainer here. That's the best place for my Ice type Pokemon. What What do you mean that's the best place? What What place are you talking? About? You mean this place? Raheem has three Pokemon. You got yourself an Iglo. Never would have guessed it. Seems like everybody coming out here with fucking Iglos. Very angry. It's literally just an igloo with like a an angry snow snowball under it. So these things having rock slide is actually extremely scary for Ranja because that does a whole bunch of damage, and we get hurt by the hail. So I should honestly probably not be using Ranja because everybody has igloos, and yeah, those rock slides are fucking lethal, man. We got a level 61 there. Trying to learn Grudge. Um, probably not. What is what is Grudge? Yeah, so if the user faints, the user's Grudge fully depletes the PP, PP of the foe's Pokemon. Our foes move that knocked it out. That's actually interesting, but we're definitely not going to stop learning that because, uh, you know, we're not planning on dying. So, get hurt by a little bit more hail, which is annoying. And next is an Icicle. Cool. Uh, young Icicle. We will go into probably just Troll. We're going to need to heal. Also, should probably just stick Troll in front again because, like I said, those rock slides are fucking scary. So, this is what the No Seal evolves into. And he's still absolutely ugly as hell, so you know what, we're just gonna brick break you. Maybe he should have just healed up there, but I think this is- oh, did fucking lived it, okay. It is actually just gonna hit with an ice fang, and okay, it doesn't do very much. So, troll, coming through with that bulk these days. This man hits the gym, even though he's a girl. <laughs> the strongest woman you ever did see. Get hurt by some hail, of course, knocks us down to red. And uh, you got yourself a Subaru. So we will stay in here. I'm definitely going to need to heal. But I'm not too worried about Subaru. Have we seen the thing this that this evolved into? I believe it was... I just went I went, I went the wrong direction. Was it the Yeti thing that Subaru evolves into? I don't even remember. We're going to just Hyper Potion you back to full, young trolley boy. Girl, sorry. And, ooh, Glacier Crash. That's fucking crazy. Okay. Didn't do very much because we're 11, level, 11 levels higher, but it's the thought that counts. That was pretty wild. Brick break. It does knock you out. And down goes your sub barrow. Very interesting berry you got there. Wow. You are strong. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of a, kind of a big deal. Um, so, Ranj being at level 50 or 61 also, we'll just put Troll in front. And uh, just for good measure, we are going to... 
go ahead and hyper potion you back to full just in case we need you because there is ice types all over the place you can never be too safe especially in this game i've come to realize they just be throwing random curveballs at you what what way was i supposed to go i feel like it was up from there oh we have a dot we have a doctor wait now here's uh here's the lad we could have just healed up from that doctor but yeah, that's fine you have to jump well what the hell man if you're leading me all the way here what do you even need me for i'm confused so we'll jump and now we need to surf so just another little pinglet it's pretty cool that we got the gift pokemon pinglet really early on we're not we weren't able to get it for an extremely long time so pretty rare that we got that thing really early on okay we'll surf here is that where this guy went he just fucking straight up disappeared on me so oh here he is what's up buddy oh wait no it's a fucking different guy i totally did they not look exactly the same okay seamus Seamus has a Jelly King. Holy shit. We have not seen this thing. We have seen Jelly Nip and the other thing it turns into, but apparently Jelly King is in fact a thing. And uh, it just reminds me of that SpongeBob episode with the big ass, <laughs> big ass jellyfish. Um, I thought this thing was poison type. Ice Beam actually does quite a bit. Ouch. You're hurting me. Stop that. Ooh, and it has a... Uh, Ice body. Oh, damn, this guy's not playing games. We're going to go into happy because it seems like the safest option. I know that they have water moves, so Ronja's is probably not the best. And we can take these ice beams all day. That is fine by me. Also, we don't get hit by the hail, but dude, this thing is annoying with healing from it. Okay. Um, I'm just going to swords dance one time, and then icicle crash should do a lot. But... Octazooka. I honestly always forget that Octazooka is an actual move. Isn't it only, um, isn't it, it's like only Octillery that can learn it or something like that. When the first time I saw Octazooka, I think it was in some ROM hack, and I was like, oh cool, they created a, uh, a fake, a new move. But it's actually a real move. And that Icicle Crash, even after the Swords Dance, did freaking nothing. This Jelly King, what type is this damn thing? It, it, it's probably just an Ice type. I should have just been, should have just been using Troll on it, to be honest. Do I Scald it? That's the tech right there. Swords Dance Scald. Okay, yeah, no, it's Water Ice. Ooh, goes for the Mirror Coat, too. Oh, my Jesus. Okay. This thing is a threat, and I should have gone into fucking troll the whole time. Um, being this low at health, at health, though, I think I should probably probably not do that. We're just going to heal up here. Uh, let's just Hyper Potion. Happy. I also only have 12 of these left. I've been running through these Hyper Potions like nobody's business. Sweet Jesus. Okay, we're just gonna get back to full. I guess I'm just gonna go for a couple more icicle crashes. Happy, you started this, you're gonna get yourself out of it, buddy. You can do it. That fucking ice body is annoying, though. I just realized that the little white part on its head is its face, I, I, I guess. I was kinda looking at the, the weird little swirlies to the left and right as its eyes, but <laughs> I, I, this thing is weird. Jelly King, I hate you. Tentacruel is way better. I actually really grew to like Tentacruel quite a bit after my WBE competitive uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Easy Eevee season. The thing freaking carried. More Octazookas. One more Ice Skull Crash is gonna freaking do it. Please. Please just die, Jelly King. My god. Absolutely unnecessarily long battle. I should have just trolled. Let troll freaking karate chop it like one damn time and we would have been fine. Brick break right to the fucking Jelly King crown. But we did grow to level 61 off of it, so hey, Groot also 45. Groot's getting there. Groot is getting there. I'm gonna keep saying that until it's useful. All right. Do have ourselves a power bracer here. Cool. Um, where the hell did that guy run off to? Was I even supposed to surf? I don't know if I was. You should fear my ice type aces. Man, there is a ton of trainers over here. This did not seem like it was gonna be this big of a route. It was like a small little nick in the corner. Ooh, you got a ping blade. Uh, it was like a very tiny section of the of the map that just did not seem this important or this, this big. Okay, we do need to heal, which I fucking meant to do before we got into this battle, but I freaking forgot. So we're going to give whole Troll a little Hyper Potion and then uh, break and break your ping blade. It's interesting seeing these from the other direction. And uh, also interesting seeing those colors. I know that the, the layout does actually show my Pokemon not as their shiny forms because there's actually not um, sprite art of the shiny versions. 
so I just grabbed the regulars, but... Brick Break almost knocks this thing out. Please die. Also, I wonder if there's going to be any of the evil boss stuff going on around here. I've been kind of waiting for them to show up. But I think it'll probably, most likely be after this this next gym. Okay, we're out of about half. Next is a Gnaw Whale. We're just going to stay in on a Gnaw Whale. Hopefully it's not, a, it's not a Mega. We do know that these things can be Mega. Okay, Icicle Crash does definitely hurt. And of course we flinch, knocks us down to 69 HP. And, uh, damn it. We are going to need to heal. So we are at a good, we are at a good level here. Go ahead and Hyper Potion yo ass back to full. More heckin' Icicle Crashes. Okay, that doesn't do enough. Please, Nah Whale, let me kill you. Pretty cool concept for a Pokemon, though. I've always thought narw Narwhals, like, insanely weird animals. Like, it's weird that they even exist. Things are like, well, like what? What could the horn be that necessary for? It's so weird. Okay, well, that thing is going to die. Hail knocks us down to, down to half again. And next is a Huskold. Uh, so for Huskold, let's actually just go into Ranja. We'll just flamethrower that for a kill. Seen lots of Huskolds, and a whole lot of these things doing pretty much nothing. So a flamethrower should do it. You're only level 50. Sorry, old buddy. You old ass dog. I really just need to find this guy's kid, man. No fear. Also, now I am going to remember to heal up here. I have a bunch of supers. We might as well... I also have max potions and stuff, too. We're just going to use some uh, supers on you, buddy. Just go for two of those, just because we're switching it up. All right. Heading up, I guess, as we run into... Was that the guy up, the, up there? I saw some feats. I saw some feet. Either it's just another trainer, or it's the guy. And his kid is absolutely getting frostbite in this water. There's no way he survived this long. Ain't no damn way. Yep, that's the guy. We are very close to the place. Okay. All right. Let's do it. We're just going to hippity hop over this way. There is an item. Do I want to... Okay, the fisherman guy fake me out every time. They're not actually him. Found ourselves an ice heal, which we never are going to use an ice heal, honestly. How often do you get frozen? Not very often. Oh, a battle? Okay, there's nothing on my hook right now. So we might as well battle everybody that we can. It's probably good to get as much experience as we can before we get to the next gym, so. You got yourself a gnaw whale again. And guess what we're going to do to you? Absolutely karate chop that crystal ass nose of yours right in half. We're running low on brick breaks here, too, so I hope we're getting close to the damn end. He did say that we're almost to the spot. I would assume there's not much more than just getting this guy. We might actually find the gym leader doing some shenanigans over here, which would be kind of cool. Also, does my little dragon guy ever evolve? I'm confused. Okay, another not well. Maybe it just is. It's probably like a, like a dragonite kind of deal where it evolves at, like, 55. But I have no idea because I have not even looked that up. My, my, uh, my grass dragon type could may, may as well not even evolve. He's an adorable, adorable little guy. All right. So here we are. Where's the kid at? You have to surf now. I don't have a Pokemon on my side. And the water is too cold to swim. Just surf up to the north. You'll find my son there. I will wait here. Please bring him back. No problem. Hayden to the rescue. We are going to grab this Pokeball, though, because uh, we're in no hurry here, clearly. We get TM20 for safeguard, which is heckin' useless. Why can't I just get, like, a good TM for, like, Ice Beam or... Earthquake or some shit, man. Pokemon in the water. It's another one of these ugly ass no seals. I'm sorry, but this is like my least favorite Pokemon in this game. <laughs> Why does it look so weird? It, it just looks deformed. I, I don't. I hate it. Okay, so I assume we're actually supposed to hop. Supposed to hippity hop over this way. There's still some more trainers. Like, oh, uh oh, uh oh, bunch of seals. I thought he was in the water. He was, he was just being held hostage by a bunch of damn no seals. Hey, you! Please help me. The no seal and ice seal, ice ice seal coal. Don't let me go, please. Battle them. Do I have to battle all these damn things. Okay, so I'm assuming this is gonna be two double battles for these. Yep. And uh, we have a no seal and an ice seal coal, both level forty, level forty-seven and forty-five. So that's actually pretty impressive. Um, to probably get, get Dracula the hell out of here. We did intimidate these things. We could probably actually just knock them out, but I kind of want to play it safe. We're going to Brick Break the Ice Seal Cool because you're evolved. And you are more scary. So then we're going to switch into Ranja. We should be good to go here. So Brick Break does do the trick on the Seal Cool. 
It does have a good. It does have a good name. I'll give it that. Terrible Pokemon, but kind of a, a cool name. Okay, now this thing's gonna dive, uh, which is not good if it uses Dive on Ranja, which uh, we're really gonna gonna hope that it does not do that. So let's actually we're gonna Brick Break and then let's let's switch Ranja out here again. We're just letting Troll do it all himself, putting the team on his back though. So we switch in the young Sparkly Happy. Uh, brick Break obviously misses because it's freaking underwater and the dive does land in the Ronda slot, so that would have been bad. But we are good to go here now. Did not expect to use 15 damn Brick Breaks over here, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, and then we'll just, we'll just Quick Attack, how about that? Because we know that the Brick Break is gonna be enough, Quick Attack does even half almost. And we just club your seal right in its weird little uh, tumor thing it's got growing out of its head. Down you go. And uh, two more. All right. Seems unnecessary for me to have to battle four. It would be cool if the, one of these things ended up being shiny because then I would be able to catch it. And it's just high level enough to where it would be kind of useful. But still just dead. Uh, I hate these things. Okay. Intimidate's going to do its thing. I wish I could have switched Dracula, but I mean, you know, maybe we'll just we'll just stay in here. How about that? Okay, let's brick break you because we know that kills you, and then we will acrobatics you because you're kind of weak. Okay, Dracula could definitely take at least one attack from these, and okay, the acrobatics does do it. So I'm playing a little bit too conservatively, but it's fine. Everything is fine. We're so deep into the game where I seriously cannot afford to lose anything else. And down goes the seal cool. I would expect it to look more like an icicle, but that's just me. Maybe it evolves again. Who knows? Hey, little buddy, we saved your ass. Oh my god, thank you so much. Can you take me back to my father? Thanks. I sure can. Thank goodness my boy is okay. What are you doing out here by yourself, buddy? Thank you so much, trainer. Please take this. You obtained a super rod. Hey, now we can actually fish for cool shit. Uh, it seems like it's really late in the game for us to get a super rod, but that's kind of cool. Anyway, they're going to get out of here. And maybe the gym leader is back at his gym now, hopefully. That would be... That would be useful if he was. Let's go ahead and, rather than running our asses all the way back there, let's go ahead and just summon this here service whistle. And we're going to fly right back to Subhale. So we'll go ahead and heal. And uh, I'm assuming that the gym leader is back now. I, I would, I guess. We didn't, I would kind of expected to see them, or see him in that area, because it seems like that's the only place that he would be. But uh, let's hope that we can get ourselves into a little bit of gym battle action. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so the guy is missing, and we can take a take a nice little step into the gym. Although, wait, oh wait, no, I did go that way. I was gonna say, is this, is this a new area? Hello. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna take on the gym next time. Thank you so much for watching. Troll is holding an Ultra Ball. Yeah. So yeah, see you guys next time. Peace out.